Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. No, I am not dead. I know it's been a long time since I made a video. I moved out to the retreat in West Virginia full time and I've been real busy doing a lot of maintenance. I rehabbed my off-grid solar power, I rehabbed my rainwater collector, and I've also added a garden. So I'm trying to step my game up here out at the retreat. But this video is going to be about communications. For those of you who've followed my channel for a while, I haven't always had the best internet out here in West Virginia. It is the mountain state, wild and wonderful, but that comes at a price. We don't have a lot of cable TV or fiber optics, so it's pretty much cellular based or what they call wireless internet service provider using 2.4, 3.8 or 5.8 gig radio hops from one of the bigger towns or cities. And even if you live in a big city or town in West Virginia, the internet still isn't that great. And that's made it challenging to make videos because it could take a whole evening to upload a video. And if the internet goes down, you have to start all over. Now I've waited a long time, but I finally got it. And that's Elon Musk Starlink satellite internet service. And I cannot say enough great things about it. This is the box that it came in. It comes with an antenna a mounting base, a router, and two cables. It took me five minutes to set this up with the app. I'm going to try to get the gimbal to cooperate here and show you the antenna. I went ahead and purchased the DirecTV adapter off their website for $35. That's the antenna there. They call it Dishy. It had some set screws. The cables are really high quality and I've been getting some incredible speeds and incredible service and it's nice to finally have really good internet out here at the retreat. And I think this could be a great option for people with a bug out location or a retreat of their own if you can't get good internet. The other nice thing is you're not tied into local dependencies. If there's something that happens in town, let's say to your cell phone tower or something, you could still have internet because you're going up to a satellite and you'll get relayed from satellite to satellite until you can get down into the internet. Uh, for example, today we lost power in town and internet service was pretty bad on my cell phone, but not here with the Starlink. Now with the magic of editing, I'm gonna go ahead and put some screenshots in. The first screenshot I'm gonna put in is from the app and this just shows you typical speed. Uh, it does vary depending on where the satellites are overhead. Unlike traditional satellite service where there's a geosynchronous satellite at one point in the sky, there's thousands of these Starlink satellites up in the sky. They're what they call LEOs or low earth orbit and they're passing overhead. So when one or two are coming in, three or four are leaving and then they're being replaced by other satellites in motion in the constellation. And I think there's plans to go well over 10,000 satellites with Starlink. If you think this could be an option for you, I'm going to give you some screenshots from the website and all these links are going to be down below in the description box. The first image you're looking at here is their main home page. The two takeaways from this home page are in the upper left hand corner is the map teardrop. And this is important to see it, how and if you can order it. And on the right hand side is a new service they just offered called RV for recreational vehicle. In the past, you're wait listed in certain areas and you can order. Now you can order in the RV mode and take your device everywhere. It's called portability, not to be confused with mobility. They're not allowing you to use this equipment in motion. They're allowing you to move it from one location to the other and operate it in a static configuration. The other really nice feature about portability is once you set it up, if you're not using it, you can deactivate it. Uh, one month on, one month off. Maybe you don't want internet full time at your retreat. You just want it when you're out there. You can turn your service on for that month or two, however long you're out there, or turn it off. Now, if you need to do remote monitoring or automated controls of things at a retreat location, you can leave it active. Starlink is not completely cheap. It's $110 for the base service. If it's available in your area or an extra $25, to enable the RV mode or this portability mode. I'm gonna give you another screenshot here of the map page. You'll see dark blue and light blue hexagons. The light blue hexagons allow you to order if your address is in that location right now. The dark blue is waitlisted. 
You can play some games with the service address versus the shipping address. Order it with an address in the light blue, ship it to a dark blue area, pay the extra $25 for portability and the system will work. So my total bill is $135 a month, but for me it's worth every penny because I do a lot of stuff with internet out here and I do want to get back to making videos for you guys. So I apologize for being gone so long. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a long overdue update from the mountains of West By God, Virginia. Thanks for watching, guys.